folks. Here we are. We might be drunk. Uh oh, we're white powering out of the gate here. Good to see you. I, my brain is mush. Sam's hungover and Rosebud sober. Yep. Yeah, we're Which still drinking. The worst of all three. Uh, I don't know. Look at us. No, we're not. We're not doing well. <laughs> this yeah. is rough. We. Uh, yeah, I, I went hard last night. It was one of those like, and I also construction in my building, so it was like I went oh. hard, and I just knew this morning would suck. Yeah, and it did. But what are you gonna That's do? That's brutal. Yeah. yeah. I'm, you're off. You're hungover. You're off a bender. My parents are in town, and I was on the fully loaded tour all weekend. My brain is mush. Yeah. Yeah. But, when did, how long are they here? Uh, till Thursday. Okay. That's Our not parents, so bad. Not so bad. Yeah. Our parents so bad. randomly had dinner together. Yes, last night. I forgot. What do you mean randomly? Mark, Mark's dad and my dad have a mutual friend, uh-huh. and the, they all just had dinner. So my mom said, "We're having dinner with uh, the Normans tonight." I was like, "What?" I know. <laughs> I couldn't wrap my head around. It was the world's colliding. It was too much. <laughs> Mark sends me, I was at the cellar late last night, and Mark just sends me a picture of our families together. Yeah. And I'm like, this is. Can I post that on here? Is that too fun. weird? Is that weird? I don't let know. Me, let me send it to Matt. You could throw it up on the, on the, uh, the, That's the pod. That's cute. So they're meeting uh, both your spouses. <laughs> it's really. Uh, I do well feel like played. we just got serious. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like right. we were friends for years. We just took it up a level. That's a good point. It's I don't, huge. I don't feel comfortable. I just preferred fucking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so my parents are in town meeting my fiance's parents for the first time, and I, I can't relax. I'm freaking out. I'm nervous. That's a terrifying thing to have happen. Yeah. I mean, I got married during COVID, so I got to avoid all of it. Yeah. Like, right. none of, none you, of my n- family. They haven't met Andy's um, uh, parents? Well, they met um, Andy's dad and stepmom, but they di- they haven't met his mom, Anita. Mm. And that's the, she's the, you know, the matriarch. Really? And the patriarch. Wow. Are you, are you in good with her? Yeah. Yeah. That's good. She's, uh, we're a lot alike. She, he married his mom. Yes. Like. Look at that. As my sleepy dad. Yeah. Norman's parents in the middle, mine on, on, you know. That's cute. Yeah. It's pretty funny. I knew your mom, Sam, because of uh, COVID, you would. Run jokes by her. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh right. Dark yeah. times. <laughs> <laughs> and my mom doesn't know I do stand up. Oh, that's so. good. Yeah. She's got a nice Farrah Fawcett thing cooking. Yeah. Look she's at that. got good bangs. It's like a threes company haircut. <laughs> good for her. This is like the new uh, Grace and Frankie here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is funny. You definitely look like both your parents well that's my like, that's not my biological dad that's no i'm saying dad. i'm saying uh that that mark does uh uh-huh. yeah you look like your mom yeah well, it's my mom i can but, see yeah. it cute yeah. cute yeah. family <laughs> very Adorable. cute the the foursome though is when they went too far see, went i thought it was pretty f- i thought it was pretty weird they all fucked but yeah whatever well how are you gonna get to know each other <laughs> yeah, exactly <laughs> my mom's gonna listen to this and she's gonna be like why did you make that joke yeah <laughs> <laughs> Blame it on me. I'm a bad influence. I feel like I get that a lot from my parents. Like really? whenever they hear a joke, they go like, why did you? Why that? <laughs> That's why. Yeah. Because of that. Right. Yes. You realize like the line, most comedians line of how far they go is their parents. Right. Right. You right. Know? Yeah. Sexually and comedy wise. You know what yeah. I mean? Absolutely. Totally. Sexually. Sexually for sure. <laughs> how oh did you God. guys do it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but no, but don't you realize that with comedy where you're like, my the, the joke I go with my mom would go, Sam. I'm like, that's okay, that's where I'll go. Right. You right. know, where she'd get mad. Yeah. Right. And I think we don't feel that much. So, like, you got to say something crazy. I was on this tour bus saying horrible shit. And then I got out in front of like the grips and the other people and I said a Uvalde joke and they were all like, Right. What the fuck was that? I was like, yeah. oh, I was joking. They're like, that's a joke? I'm like, to me. I was just saying the worst thing I can to yeah. get a reaction. Yeah. I like that you said that, that we don't feel that much. That's uh, That made me feel better. Actually. All right. Yeah. Well, it's not that we we're a sociopath. We just, the words are numb, you know? Right. Like, and when you start cancer. at open mics, you're just around people saying the most horrible shit ever. And then you're like, oh, okay. You're numb. We're desensitized. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's that's... It's not, you know, we're not bad people, I don't think. I don't know. No, no, of course not. Nah, like, it's debatable. It's debatable. Wow. But I do think that, like, when, <laughs> when, like, COVID hit and shit, and I would be reading the news, and all of a sudden, like, it started to, like, affect me, I was like, oh, no, this is bad. Yeah. Because it was, like, the scabs of years of talking to other comics we, yes. were just sort of, like, yes. wearing down, and I was like, oh, I'm not as funny anymore. Like, I'm, <laughs> I can tell, because totally. I'm reading the news, and nothing's coming to mind except, this is tragic, you know? Like, yes. And that was, like, a bad, a bad sign. sign. Yeah, yeah, when you when you have uh, empathy. 
Right. Ugh. I felt it coming back. I was like, oh no, this is going to be so Gross. bad for me. You Gross. have to distance yourself, right? That's yeah. like that's like the comedic trait where you're like, it doesn't mean that we don't feel, but it means like we have to we have to kind of immediately distance ourselves or else there's no joke. Yeah, yeah. You're, yeah, you're dissociated a little bit. Yeah. And it sucks that we can't we grieve our way? You know, you go to a funeral, people are crying and they're hugging the casket going, "No." Right, and I'm right. going, "Hey, uh you know, <laughs> he's got a boner in there. And they're like, what's wrong with you? I'm like, this is how I grieve. You know? Why right. can I grieve the way I grieve? Comics funerals are the best. Oh, the best. Yeah. Those are fucking great. You trash a dead person. Yeah. It's fun. It's love. That's, That's better. literally the Jewish faith. We dump the rocks on the, you know. Really? On the casket. Yeah, you just start throwing the rocks on the casket. It's weird. Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah, you, you don't see that ever? No, I didn't know about up. the you, rocks. Yeah, you, you push the rocks on, yeah. I thought that was a Muslim thing. <laughs> right. no, that's when women try to vote. <laughs> <laughs> or drive. Yes. <laughs> what, how do you like uh, writing for SNL right now? Um, well, I, I'm not right now. Thank you so much. Thank you. Look at that. Um, it that just went to, on break, About though. to relapse. Um, yeah. You sure that's the right one? <laughs> Beer Jew? <positive>. Okay. <laughs> mm. so, I do like it. Oh, my God. That's so good. Yeah, Mocktail he's good. for rosebud. We're we're going. Well, what, what, what mm. is that? A rose? Yep. Yeah, it tastes like. To, are you trying to fuck us? It tastes like my mom's soap. <laughs> mm. Um, I feel like it's it's been great. Like it was kind of like it felt like going to, uh, like getting paid to go to Harvard or something for a little while. You know? Oh yeah, not comedy favorite. school. Not it's my like favorite. It's, in, it's not my type of. Co- it's well made. It's just not my type of cocktail. It's a I little like too it. like potpourri for you. I feel it's like. a little too potpourri. I love a, a rose flavor at anything. Else, yeah, mm. no, yeah. it's interesting. I feel like I'm the the girl in American Beauty right now. You know, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, your tits are bigger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that, was, um, that was fun. It's, but you, never mind. What, what? Well, that's one of those movies where you like. I was like, this is amazing, and then five years later, I was like, this movie kind of sucks. Yeah, it absolutely. Sucks. It's pretentious as yeah, hell. Yeah, very precious. Just the bag floating. Get out of here. Yeah, the the monologue at the end. Mm. Yeah. Whew. Spacey is great, and Annette Bening's hot and great. Oh, yeah. yeah. She yeah. gets plowed by Peter Gallagher. Good time. Her legs You are can up. tell how much older I'm getting, but every time I watch that movie, I relate more and more to her being like, don't get anything on the couch. <laughs> like, and I'm more and more on her side. Yeah, totally. As I get older, I'm like, no, I completely get it. Oh, yeah. I saw Peter Gallagher in a bodega once when I was like, we were like, must have been like eighth or ninth grade and we're all like hammered. Did you guys have an eyebrow off? <laughs> we, I don't know who to want. That's a tough one. <laughs> right. a tough but one. I was, me and my friends were shit faced holding like 40s. We're holding like OB. Uh... And I was like, you're fucking Peter Gallagher. And he was just like, ugh. And, yeah. and, his, and his wife goes, no, that's nice. You know? <laughs> We could right. tell he was just—he was so—he was so annoyed by oh, us. Oh, really? But I was like a drunk film nerd. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, That's pretty a big good. Deal. You knew who that was as a kid. Yeah. That's pretty good. I'd seen him while you were sleeping. I'd seen a bunch of his shit. Oh yeah. Guys and dolls. Whoa. Yeah. He can. What happened to his eyebrows? He shaved him. He lost a bet. <laughs> oh wow. He is a is... completely different man without those things. Yeah, he looks like Thomas Hayden oh. Church without those. He's so shit. hot. Is he a hot guy? He is a hot guy, yeah. Hey, he's a good looking dude. I can't tell. He's definitely he's like a, a romantic good looking lead. Dude. Oh, yeah, that's true. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But so is Seth Rogen. You know what? He's like a, he's like a hotter, um, what's his name? Uh, Saturday Night Fever. Why am I Travolta. blanking? Yeah, he's a hotter He's Travolta. hotter than Travolta? Yeah, Travolta, because Travolta um, gay. ended up, yeah, first of all, gay. <laughs> Second, has that Scientology smile. Yes, yes. You know? He's got a glow of like, I've been I've been uh, transformed. Yeah, like I'm there's just clear. like nothing behind his fucking mm, eyes. Right, I'm in a cult. I'm kind yeah. of turned on by that though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, of course well, we, we were talking about snl sorry i cut you off well, with american okay. beauty yeah um it's been it's been cool it's been like i mean physically it's just fucking so hard on you yeah uh but and you're doing the road yeah and i'm Ooh, doing the road true. and like i uh but it it's a cool thing to be this like far into comedy and go oh here's something that i never really learned how to do and like to try to teach yourself that from zero yes because writing live sketch versus writing sketch for tv is just such a completely different animal right and um nothing can be subtle like subtlety never plays it has Mm. to be like really fucking obvious or else the audience in the room doesn't get it you know not to mention you are doing these for like tourists yes right. and young people and young people yeah. yeah and i've seen your act a bunch you're pretty dry yeah you know we're both pretty dry yeah so like i wonder how that is to write 
big, broad kind of sketches yeah. when you're... Well, it's good because I'm like, I never really, I'm not that silly. Yes. You know? Exactly. And so to be in that environment and to kind of like learn how to be funny in that way, that's been really cool for me. Are you silly with Andy? Yes. Yeah. So it's like you have that, but then you have to make it broad, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 So it's a different, it's just a different skill set. And I remember going in and watching like the first table read and hearing one of my sketches and going oh that was real bad and <laughs> and the scariest part of that was i have no idea why oh, like that is it's tough. one thing to bomb and know exactly what happened it's another thing to bomb and be like i don't know how i'm going to avoid that yeah <laughs> and you know well, you're the newer person so yes like, what do people kill? say when when it bombs like that does, does do they say anything or they, they don't say like, oh, anything it's one. like you i wish you could just be like skip it you know like right. i wish you could be up in the bleachers just like just skip it it's fine there's fucking seven more pages just get just move on you know Damn. but they have to read the whole thing so and sometimes you'll see lauren like looking how many pages are left? Oh, wow. How much longer? And you're like, oh, That's the no. YouTube, the, you press the button? Yeah, yes. yeah. Thank God, yeah. 20 seconds. Yeah, right. you're like, oh, fuck. Yeah. But it's, uh, but like, finally, by the end of the season, I would be writing stuff and I would know exactly what wasn't going to play and why it wasn't going to play. And, and then to see it, like, play out exactly how I thought it would, I'd be like, mm-hmm. oh, okay. I finally know what I'm doing wrong. I can't say I've gotten great at it. <laughs> like, I still feel like I have no business being there, but I, I'm i like, I'm learning it. Yeah. You know? And they let you learn. They don't go, ah, you you, you tried and failed. Well, we'll see. I mean, ah. I still haven't. <laughs> I'm going to find out. Because we know a couple people who got in and out pretty yeah. quick. Well, yeah. I mean, it's a high-pressure job. Sure. I saw Bill Hader in an interview just be like, yeah, I was miserable. Really? Yeah. 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 I mean, wow. there's like, I think there's times when you're miserable, but the, it's like, this is just from what I've observed. I, I it, it's still there's something so kind of like addicting about it. Yeah. I mean, it's the same as stand up. You know, it's so intense. You're like putting everything into it. You let your personal life fall to pieces, and you just fucking throw your whole self <laughs> oh. into it. So yeah. it's yeah, it's misery. But comedy is misery. Oh, sure. literally the last two nights I had no sets. I was like, I'm gonna. I'm, or I think I had two last night. And then Sunday I had none. I just text Liz the seller. I'm like, uh, if anyone cancels, she's like, Chris Red's stuck in Canada. You want to do four? I'm like, yep. <laughs> Hell yeah. Then he's still stuck in Canada Monday. She's like, you want to do another three? So I'm just like, yep. I'm just at the seller. I'm like, yeah, let's just neglect my yeah. entire life. Yeah. Downing fucking booze at the at the fat black bar. Greg Stone started a show called Night Cream, yeah, what was where, that? where he just sings auto tune. Yeah. It's incredible. Oh, He's it's murdering. So funny. Really? Murdering. Wait, there's an audience. There's an audience. Dude, he started that during the pandemic. What? It's incredible. Yeah, dude, he can kind of sing. What? It's weird. So. He, it's stand up and then at the end of the show Greg just starts doing auto tune and being fucking crazy and he's doing bits kind of through it it's murdering yeah come on murdering. it's so funny and then everyone's just hanging out having fun and just everyone I'm like it's like a party hopefully they do it every Monday at the Fat Black wow. Lounge at the Cellar yeah. it's, it's worth going to it's crazy yeah it's so really funny it. he did he did, he did didn't he like do a music video as see, Night see Cream, pull that up. Night his Cream. band is like it's called Night Cream, and it's him and another comic, and they they basically like wrote an album in one day during the <laughs> pandemic, and it's all improvised, and it's hilarious. I mean, I'm wow. just like it's the craziest Greg thing. Stone Night Cream, maybe I don't know. Is it is it jokes? I don't get where the laughs it's come. It's weird. In. It's I don't know how it's to explain all, it. It's all it's improvised. Yeah, it's so silly. He, he takes something someone says and turns it into a song, oh, but it's fucking okay, weird okay. and silly. So it's like singing crowd work. Almost. Yeah, almost. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. I, Great we get a, I, want, I don't know if there's going to be a good clip or not because I haven't seen this. This looks like soul. Yeah, I don't think this is the. Uh, I don't the, think this is the, the music video. Oh, uh, Okay. Oh, there's a music video. Yeah. We don't Can want to play fun? a stand up. This is a comedy show. <laughs> Just joking, Greg. This is a music video. I don't. Night cream. <laughs> Night cream. That's a great name. Yeah. Oh, By great, the way, this the drink man. gets better every sip. Yeah, actually, it's growing <laughs> yeah. on me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I was gonna have an alternative for you, but if you need another one. No, the raspberry. The, the raspberry needed a second. We gotta get Greg on here. Yeah, Greg's gotta come on. He's so funny. Maybe you could do this on the pod. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, chopping wood is what he calls sex. So the uh, song is chopping wood. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> All right, it's funny. It's pretty funny. Yeah. Right, so I, mean, I don't mean to just play a whole thing here, but I thought it was it was fun. Check it out. He's doing it at the Comedy Cellar. Hopefully every Monday. It's like a whole show. DeVito went on. Simeon Goodson, who's hilarious, He's also funny. went yeah. on. It was a good show. All right. Wow. How did he pitch that one? So Liz, Liz somehow saw it. Uh, I don't know if she saw it at another club and she was like, you got to do this. I bet you he showed her the music video. Yeah. I bet that's what it was. Mm -hmm. But she was pumped for it. Yeah, right. it's very funny. This bitch might be crazy. Child. So yeah, what, what were like highlights? Were there any guests you were like, or, or hosts this season where you were like, oh, this is pretty awesome? Um, It's so like... It's so it's such a lame answer, but I can barely remember the hosts, like because you're so sleep deprived and and shit. But I gotta say, like Lizzo was fucking great. Whoa. She she really like she knew she she hosted and she was a musical guest and she did update during the dress wow, rehearsal. Wow. So I've never seen anybody do that much work. Like she, when I went into her dressing room to give her notes, she was. Every time I saw her off stage, she was lying down. She was just like oh, man. literally re preserving all her energy. Yes. And and then <laughs> I saw her performing. Her yeah. <laughs> 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 I was literally like, this bitch, I get it. Like for her to lie down the whole time, I was like, that's perfect. Good that's for her. what we should be doing. <laughs> yes, exactly. Because yeah. you lose so much energy talking to the the manager of the club, the waiter, the fans, the photos yeah. after. You yeah. just burnt out. Yeah. So and I don't I don't know anybody who's been a host and a musical <clears throat> guest that's also wanted to do update. That's like yeah. your time off. True, yeah. true. You know? I heard about this, I think I've told this before, but there was a rock star, I'm not gonna say his name. But he puts his hood up, and that means don't talk to me. Mm -hmm. And then he'll take the hood down, and anybody can say hello, how are you, take a photo. <laughs> yeah. So that's like his way of nicely saying, leave me the fuck alone. I heard does the he KKK does Air the Force? same thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't bother Sorry, the I stepped on that. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> well, AirPods, I think somebody can still go, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. and you got to do this shit, you know? Right. But with the hood up, everybody just knew. That was his rule. Oh, yeah. that's, a, that's a fucking peeve. The AirPods in, it is a peeve of mine. Yeah, I yeah. get why people do it, but it, it bugs me a little bit. When they don't take them out? Yeah, when they're just talking to you with the AirPods yeah, in. Yeah, that is weird. Because you get a lot of, what? Yes. Right. I saw a guy in front of me at the bank doing that. I'm like, just take him out for the conversation. Right, right, right. exactly. Yeah. But how many people are you approaching with AirPods in? Very. I'm not doing it. I mean, yeah. sometimes I have men. Someone you see someone on the street, you take them out for the conversation. Right. Yeah. yeah. But then maybe it's a conversation you want to have a really long one, so you, uh, you take one out. Take one. Right. Exactly. Yeah. That's what? what I do. Huh? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> but talking about SNL, I read the the Bernie Brillstein book, and Jim John Belushi said he did four years, and he said it's like high school. Yeah. You do four years and you graduate. Yeah. Well, well Keenan's been Keenan. there for like 20 right. years, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, the, a lot of failing. the cast has been there for now <laughs> He's Van for a Wilder. long time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think that there's like, I think before 80 and Kyle and Kate uh, and, and fucking 80, Is Kyle, Kate. Is still there? Kate McKinnon? No, she no, left. No, she just right? left. Oh, she left. Okay. Um, But like, I think the cast had been there the longest of any cast. Oh, wow. Damn. Yeah, that they were just like sticking around. For yeah. a while. I wonder if it's just terrifying because you have it's not like the old days where you just were guaranteed they don't make comedy movies anymore, really. Not right. Really, like back no. in the day, you were just in a movie. Yeah. You graduated I guess to movies. People but you look at a lot of those SNL guys from back, you know, like what, twelve years ago or so, mm -hmm. and they all have their own shows. Like you look at like, you know, uh Jason Sudeikis and, yeah. and Bill Hader and yeah. uh I mean a lot of them just have their own But thing. it did take long like the way that the entertainment industry has changed I'm like it takes so much longer to build sort of longevity mm. you know because yeah. you have there's you can have your own show but that doesn't mean everybody's going to watch it right. It's like True. there's so many platforms and there's so many different ways to watch things mm -hmm. that you could have a massively successful show on one platform and people just still don't fucking know about it. Yeah. There are yeah. so many shows that we don't know about. I know. Oh, I, I put on, I, I was with a girl the other night, I put on uh, 30 Rock and she's like, what is this? What? Uh, I mean, she was 14. But uh, <laughs> no, no, but she was like, what is this? And I was like, well, I mean, are you kidding me? She yeah. goes, she was Tina Fey and I was like yeah it's like one of the best shows ever what are you yeah. talking about damn and then uh, did she not know who Tina Fey was she did but she was like yeah, she's not funny and I was like oh, are what? you kidding me are you fucking yeah. serious yeah 
Holy shit. shit. <laughs> she, like, uh, in a hajib or whatever, a hijab. Like, where'd you find this lady? And she was like, Alec Baldwin. I was like, this is like one of the best comic actors ever. What are you talking about? He shot, he shot a Did lady. Did something happen? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, he's a little rusty. <laughs> right. That was the name of the movie. <laughs> but, um, but, uh, yeah. Yeah. So you're. I, they don't make comedy movies like they used to. No. It's like it is. No, they don't. They definitely. The 90s, I miss the '90s in that way because, like, how many great. Well, we can't say they were all fucking great. You no. know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they sure. were, it's like we had Rodney King. Right. That was '92. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you look at like how many of those uh, actually did not do great in the box office. Oh, the like, movies. Yeah, the the, movies. I'm talking about oh, the ones that the came 90s. out. I no, see. no, no, no. <laughs> no. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. I thought you were talking about a hit oh. in the 90s, and I was like, yeah, that did. <laughs> Definitely a hit. <laughs> Got great ratings. <laughs> but yeah, we had, well, yeah, Tommy Boy, but then you had Night at the Roxbury. I thought mm-hmm. Roxbury was kind of fun. Uh, it's got yeah. a moment. Yeah. It's got moments. It's it was, got moments. I don't know. I mean, if you look, I don't, I, I don't remember a yeah. single moment from it, though. Same. You but, know? But before, it was just like the natural progression. It was like, you had Molly Shannon do... What's her face? Uh, Catherine Gallagher. Right. And yeah. then she did Superstar. Yeah. Yeah, there were Night of the Roxbury with Will Ferrell and uh, what's his face? Chris Catan. Catan. And then it yeah. became a movie. It was right. just such a normal trajectory and now that's over. Yeah, I mean, Will Ladies Ferrell man. kind of was the king of the 90s. Like oh, every yeah. movie that he was involved in besides Night at the Roxbury. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was just... I was like re-watching Anchorman, which has kind of been ruined at this point just from the amount of like times it's been quoted to me. But... Yeah. But like that movie was so fucking good. Yeah. Oh, amazing. It was so funny. Anchorman, um, The Other Guys. Have you guys seen that? Oh, yeah. That's one of his later movies. That's a great movie. Old school. That's like, actually, I'm surprised by how many people haven't seen The Other Guys. True. It's great. It's so funny. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Step Brothers. Yeah. Step Brothers. But yeah, a lot of those were elf. like the, the early aughts. I feel like the 90s was like, it was like Sandler. Talladega Nights. Sandler, yeah. Jim Carrey, True. Chris Tucker, that's right. like, Eddie Murphy that's, still. Yeah. You know like how you talk to your dad about baseball uh, if you have a bad relationship? <laughs> Mine yeah. is all me and my dad talk about our Will Ferrell movies. And that's really? like Yeah, that's like how we keep our oh. relationship on safe territory That's i remember cool. i remember my biological father his wife's like just come over there'll be a baseball game on I'm like all right fine and then i get there there's no game on i'm like i was told there'd be a buffer <laughs> this is fucking rude we saw i remember we saw the you just have to make strong eye contact <laughs> all day <laughs> i remember we he remember he took me to see walk hard he was like, oh, let's yeah. see something mindless and the whole, and as mindless as it is there's still a subplot of like he's like i'm sorry i was a bad father son i'm like come on <laughs> This was, this was supposed to be the safe you, bet. You guys are just watching it, not blinking. It's like, ugh. Yeah. Damn. Brutal. I don't have a buffer. With, I, at least you guys have that. But um, do you have a good relationship with your dad? Well, it's just co-workery. You know, hey, yeah. it's hot out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they have a water cooler in their home. A lot home. of office yeah. small talk. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the other thing about SNL is that it's there's something. You're obviously in a corporate environment, even though you're making comedy. Sure. You're like you're still in a corporate job, so you can't. This is where stand-ups have a hard time there because it's like it's not about you. Like, right. It's just not about you. <laughs> it's you know? a production. Yeah, it's a production. You are a tiny part of a fucking gigantic thing. Were there any humbling moments like that where you're like... Um, I barely have the self-esteem, you know what I mean? To like... But walking in, seeing my first sketch, like just completely bomb and being like, oh, I have no idea oh. what to do or how to avoid this next week. And I was like walking up to like, Brian Tucker is like one of the best writers. He's a great guy too. One of the best sketch writers I've yeah. ever seen and such a nice dude. And he's been there forever. He's been there for so long, right? <laughs> yeah, he's been there for a while. And yeah. he's like, he was head writer for a while and now he's a senior writer. Wow. Um, And he, uh, and that was his choice. You know what I mean? He was like, I, I think, I'm yeah. assuming. And he uh, like... I walked into his office after hearing my first sketch bomb and I was like, hey, Brian, um, I was like, so there, are there like any books I can read? Like, I was like, for real, like asking for a book on how to write sketch because that's how desperate I was. I was yeah. like, I need some kind of, <laughs> I'm like, give me some rules, some regulations. I don't know how to do this. Yeah. You know, I'm not, I didn't come up in the sketch world. I came up doing comedy and sure. you can learn how to write a joke. There's millions of jokes you can and they're two lines you know what i mean like the best ones and so you can go oh there's the premise that's the turn there's the punchline Mm. boom like 
I can see how that works. Yeah, there's not a ton on sketch. You're right. No. You guys have to watch a bunch, I guess. You kind of, you got to like, it's like chess. I mean, you just have to fucking fail to get yeah. good at it. But that's all, yeah. com- that's all any, anything in Trial entertainment, error. right? Yeah. You, every part you have to kind of just learn, right? Right, yeah. But you're learning on the biggest platform of it's sketch a terrifying, comedy yeah. of all time. <laughs> yeah, it's scary. But I love it. I like yeah, it. St- it's, it that, I mean, SNL, it's like just, there's no show like it where you have to have a new killer sketch like a whole episode every week every it's insane week. yeah insane. i mean every other show you can take your time yes you do, i mean also the live audience there is something still pretty insane about it yeah oh yeah yeah it's very cool i remember like walking through the showroom on saturday and like seeing the like on air sign and being like am i in the 50s like it yeah. was so cool it's yeah. a throwback to be in that environment i remember like, watching them, like on comedy central they would do reruns all day remember back in oh, the day yeah. so you just get like you know ge smith in the yes. saturday Night live band you're like oh my god this is so yeah that, what was your favorite era of snl i mean i'd have to say like the 90s were my favorite era but like that original cast was just the best I think. oh yeah you know, and I think there's something that's naturally really nostalgic when people think about their favorite time of SNL. It's always like right as they were growing yeah, every up. Every time. You know? Every time. But I will say, when Che got the gig, Michael yeah. Che first got it. I mean, yeah. he was just a open, not an open micer, but he was like a working comic. Yeah. Young guy, alcoholic, fun, <laughs> yeah. friend of ours. <laughs> and he's like, come, come to the show. And I was like, okay. And I remember sitting in his dressing room. And we're just downing tequila. Yeah. And I was like, what are we doing here? You got to go on. He's like, ah, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. And I remember walking the bowels of 30 Rock and like yeah. looking at stuff, all the photos and the, the touch and everything. Yeah. It was amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> it's I amazing. remember walking through that hall the first day and like it w- hadn't really occurred to me that the, I had gotten the job. Like I knew yeah. that I had gotten the job, but I was like walking through that hall where you see every cast member in the writer's yes, floor yes. and being like, well, there's every hero I ever had. Just exactly. Being like, you don't deserve this. Right. <laughs> you know right. what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like, I, m- I remember sneaking into Nor- uh, N- Lauren's office, and he's got that uh, window that overlooks the whole yeah. stage and the audience. Yeah. And that was pretty cool. And you're like, he's been blown in here. You snuck in there? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I had to do it. I had to did do you it. blow him? I did. I blew good, him. Yeah. That's good. Still don't get the gig. <laughs> Mr. Norman. Yeah. He's like, this is a mad TV worthy blow job. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. So. Kids, <laughs> you did kids in the hall. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Their new thing's supposed to be good. I it's seen great. It. It's, it's really good. It's really good. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. Yeah, I was watching it. It's on it. Amazon? Um, yeah, it's on Amazon. Do you know what I just fucking watched? That's Here's a wreck for you if you haven't seen it. Uh, Dina Hashem texted me to watch. Uh, she's like, have you seen Who Framed Roger Rabbit? And I was like, not since I was a kid. Yeah. You haven't seen that? No, since oh, I was, since a, I was a kid. kid. Okay, yeah. So I just watched it. You know, just She's like, it's noir. It's silly. It's funny. Yeah. Dude, it's great. It's, it's so, so good. good. It's incredible. It's Chris, so good. Christopher Lloyd kills it. It's been it. a while, yeah. Yeah, that was yeah it's a really Hoskins. artistic movie, actually, oh, when I yeah. think about it. Oh, my. It's brilliant. Yeah. yeah. I mean, to make it like a clean... The, the clean jokes, like instead of the wife's fucking around on him, it's uh, he, she played patty cakes with another yeah, guy. Yes, yeah, yeah. It's yes. great. Yeah. And also, the, 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 uh, just the way, like, I love the noir aspect where, you know, Betty Boop is like, yeah, I had lost all this work since uh, since tunes went to color. And she's like, but I still got it. He's like, yeah, kid, you <laughs> yes, do. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's so dumb and great. I love it. Jessica yeah. Rabbit, the, the big gorilla who's the in the tuxedo is the, mm-hmm. is the bouncer. Oh, mm-hmm. I used to love that movie. So good. The car is funny yeah. this is this is the boulevardier yeah. this is this is stronger it's good it's pretty much the same sam's trace, coming just back a lot a lot more <laughs> i am like, coming back <laughs> looking forward this is this is a terrible i feel like the op- we're the opposite of role models on this spot like, oh, yeah. just you know keep drinking and you'll kill your hangover guys. <laughs> exactly yeah. exactly hair of the dog baby it is how it fixes Mark, it. same thing for you another round or would you like something different go boulevardier with me dude yeah i'll Come try on. a bull let's do it all right until we're doing these with bodega cat is there part of you that's glad you're sober for these after parties? Because those get pretty wild. Dude, there's never a part of me that's glad I'm sober. I'm oh, never, okay. I'm never like glad I'm sober unless I'm like listening to like my friends. You know, if I'm on when I was on the road with Bert and he would wake up in the morning hung over on that bus, I would be like, oh, okay, I'm glad I'm sober. But it's like, you only get that in the morning. You don't get that at <laughs> yes. night when everyone's having fun. That's right. true. You know what I mean? But there is like a gift that comes with it where like I'll leave right before 
shit goes down yeah. that I don't want to be there for. Like, I get so many calls being like, dude, right after you left, the craziest shit happened. <laughs> and I'm just, I'm always the like- The classic hotel bit, you should have hung, hung out, out man. man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What happened? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And I'm, oh, but I'm always like, thank God I didn't see that. You yeah, know? it gets ugly. It's always one of my friends losing their mind in front of, like, in yep. front of people that matter. Nothing and I'm like, good happens late. I mean, it really, I bring Vita on the road with me for a reason. I I need a sober guy to be like don't do that yeah, yeah 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 that's the other thing is like people uh people know i'm gonna show up on time that's right great. they know right. i'm gonna like be there i'll like i'm not gonna do anything insane yeah you the, know there's a darkness to that that's that after hours you know right. the, with the, there's a lady thing or a woman starts crying you right know, oh my something god happens. Yes. Something always crying. Happens. she's always crying always and i always. don't know what's happening i know yeah well ne- neither do they they're not <laughs> they don't know why they're crying they're, yeah. it has nothing to do with whatever <laughs> happened you know what i mean right right there, like you ever, you ever see like a table of girls out one night and you're like that's gonna end bad yes Six girls are all dressed up always and like i can an always alpha. i can that's always tell badly. which one's gonna cry too yeah. I'm like, yeah, yeah i know which one's gonna cry yeah it's always yeah. the loudest one yes the, the one that's like the loudest the most confident she's leading the fucking party and then when she cries they all sort of huddle around her right you know right. they all are like it's okay yep. i made i made a woman in the crowd cry on saturday at hilarities in cleveland I was uh Oh shit, I have one of these. Absolutely. Yeah, I made her cry. I, was, I think I told you this already. I don't think I told you, but I I uh I was it was the day of the abortion ruling, Oh, I saw the tweets. And I just, you know, I, I'll tell you this too. All the jokes were pro women. All the jokes, not that it matters cuz it's a comedy show, but yeah. they were, you know, I said, "Hey, I'm for women's right to choose. Here's a uh, here's 10 minutes of abortion jokes." Yeah. They're killing. One woman starts hysterically crying. She runs out. I was like, I don't know. I, I kind of wish we had a talk. I feel like about all it. abortion jokes are pro women, you know. For the most part. For the most part. I have one that's, on that. <laughs> <laughs> but I cover it up. I, I tag it with a pro. Yeah, pro yeah, yeah. He calls he calls all women dirty whores. But, yeah, you know, <laughs> but it, you got to be there. <laughs> no, it's uh, you know, we uh, it's still better than being a comedian. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's an easy joke. It's uh, some lady yells at me for telling an abortion joke, and she's like, "I've had an abortion." I'm like, "Well, what you did was worse." <laughs> <laughs> But, but that's I, not even anti. Yeah, it's, it's just, just a joke. And then I spin it around. Yeah. But, but you know, uh, Thank you. I will say, I get, I, I'm not mad when you're offended, honestly, because I, I get why you're emotional that day. Sure. Mm-hmm. So I'm kind of like, yeah, you're, that's okay. It's misplaced. I'm not who you're mad at. But right. I think the left does that a lot where they will, instead of, instead of being like, fuck Republicans or like, fuck this overturning, they're like, Fuck you. And I'm like, yeah. well, I was just saying I'm on your side. Right. But it doesn't matter. There's like misplaced anger. Kill the like, message. That's true. Yeah. 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 There is a lot of that. I feel like that's, um, I don't know. I, I, I kind of, I made somebody cry this weekend, but it wasn't the, it wasn't over the abortion stuff. They were, um, they, it was like a you guy. You said I'm keeping it. Yeah, yeah, I said I'm keeping it. And <laughs> Andy killed himself. Um, <laughs> it was like a guy who came to my show and was like, Said some shit about, I guess he listens to the podcast with me and Andy, and I make fun of Andy a lot, and he makes fun of me a lot, and that's just like our dynamic, right? But then people think that they can do that, right? Yes. And they don't, A, they don't have the skill to do it in a funny way, and then B, they don't fucking know him, right? You yeah. know? So he was trying to like make fun of him, and then as I was, as I was listening to this, I was like, I could just laugh and like let this go, but then I was like, that's such a shitty person thing to, you know what I mean? And I just got pissed and I was like, hey, dude, I was like, maybe nobody like ever loved you enough to stand up to you or stand up for you. <laughs> and I was like, but what you said was uh, fucking rude. I was like, you know, I don't know you at all. And uh, you should think about that next time you talk to a comic. Wow. And That's I just I just fair. was like, I was really honest. But this man, grown man, started to cry. Damn. Started How old are we cry. talking I'm talking like 30. Oh, Damn, yeah. that's, that's too old. Pretty old 31. to cry in public. Yeah. Yeah. This is on stage to audience? No, this was after the show. I came out after the show and he was going into the next show. I thought he was there at the show before, 
but he was there for the second show. Oh, so then I had to perform no. for this guy. Uh, <laughs> did you do your bit about men who cry? Whole, <laughs> yeah. It's just so the unattractive, whole... <laughs> right? Am I right, guys? It's just disgusting. Yeah, um, your face is wet, but I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> Nick Griffin does a great joke about how guys, when they cry, they always try to toughen it up by throwing a few curse words in there. They're like, yeah. fucking shit. Yeah. <laughs> so like, true. Yeah, you're still, you're still crying in public. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's also just like so uncomfortable. I've never seen a man like a cry in an attractive way because they just it's haven't awful. for so long. Yeah. So their face looks constipated. No etiquette. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yes, yes, exactly. True. <laughs> their face looks like an asshole that just fucking... <laughs> the, only, the only handsome cry might be, and if you can pull this up, Peters, what's in the box? Seven, Brad Pitt, Holding a gun. Well, oh, Brad there's handsome Pitt. cries. Denzel, the one teardrop. Come on. Oh yeah, but look, look how cute. His wife's head's in a box. Come on. Yeah, but that's Brad Pitt. That's true. Yeah, he, he can't. Really... John Damn. Doe's got the upper hand. Damn, he looks good crying too. Yeah, he's he's a hunk. Pull up the. Denzel I don't know one though. Teardrop. I don't know. You got like look at his look at his mouth. Glory. Yeah. All right. All right. You know what I'm saying? You get wife and head in a box. Uh, pass. <laughs> Oh, that's a good cry. That's a good fucking cry. Is that a slave cry? Yeah. Yeah. Glory. yeah. Love a slave cry. Denzel's fucking cool. Jesus Christ. Cool. I mean, like a, <laughs> No, it's, it's good powerful. Good cinematic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> fucking Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> there that goes my job. <laughs> I know, right? Mark, See, put that hood up. <laughs> who's that? Wait. Go back to that last one. Go back to that last <laughs> one. That's disgusting. Who's that? Who's that guy? Harry Styles. What are the best cries ever? Can we get like best fit? What's it? Sally? Can oh, you want to talk about cry? a fucking pet peeve? It's people that go on social media to cry. Oh, I got a good one. That drives Bruce. me fucking Peter's crazy. Gross. I'm going to send you a great photo. A woman band. left my show crying in Tampa. This How is many years cries ago. you racking this up? This is here? from years ago. Okay. But I had to save the photo because it's so fucking funny. Did she? She took a picture of herself crying. Yeah. And tagged oh. you. In the comments, I'm sending it to Peter's. You can pull it up. And she wrote, this, leaving your show crying, you're going to like this. I just airdropped Jesus it to you. Jesus Christ. See, these people are all going through shit. This guy crying at your show, he's got some issues. Can you imagine going how he, insane what? you'd have to be to take a photo of yourself, send it to a stranger, and be like, you made me cry? Like, That's horrific. I don't understand. In what world is that like you're getting one in on them? I know, I know. I don't get it. Well, the cry trumps things. That's why they do there it. There she is. If you zoom in, it says leaving your show crying. <laughs> okay. You can, you can X out the name. We don't want to give real names here, but like, yeah. I, yeah, that's, um, first of all, I don't see the tears. Yeah, um, barely. So that's fake. Yeah. Damn. She's leaving your show crying. Same haircut as my mom. <laughs> <laughs> surprise, surprise. What are the best movie crying scenes? I want to see what they go. Milk Money. I remember oh, that movie. Was that, me. was that Mel Melanie Griffith? Yeah. She was hot, dude. Super yeah. hot in that. That one's e. good. What are we going to do? Jerk off to this? I don't get it. Captain Phillips? <laughs> I don't remember that one. That's what I jerk off I never to. Saw. <laughs> Men crying. <laughs> Will Vince is great in Captain Phillips. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a David Tell joke. Uh, it's not your fault. That's a good cry. That's that a is, great cry. That is a good cry. That's a yeah. good fucking Sean, cry. That is a great cry. I can't even cry for oh, Mystic, Mystic River. River. That was good. Sean Penn killed that. I'm not going to cry for you. Yeah, Tom Cruise is fucking great in Magnolia. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to cry for you. Yeah, Shimmer all of these blast. are uh, all of these are men crying. Yeah. Oh, yeah, good point. Yeah. Well, the women crying would be too long of a list. Right, it's, it's too many. <laughs> They're also like, it's not, it's not uh, exceptional. You know, right. you know it's why? Because women take photos of themselves crying <laughs> and then send them to people that they don't even know. Yeah, yeah no dude has ever done that. No, nope. leaving your show crying. Here's proof. It's yeah. like what? I know. Get it together. Crying is definitely a private moment. Why would it is. That? It's like, uh, I mean, maybe I maybe this is because I was raised by you know republicans but um <laughs> I, it wasn't encouraged in my house mm -mm. to like cry like that i i still don't Good. do it in public like i i go to therapy and i'll sit on the couch and before he even walks in i'll start crying just because <laughs> i'm like well this is where i do this right you know How but do you like fit in? So you do the road you write for snl and you go to therapy every week i go to I, not every week yeah. i <laughs> i do therapy now i do it over the phone uh -huh. and i do it like once every two weeks mm. um but I'd been in therapy for like so long that it's yeah. like when I go now, it's like going to get a massage or something. I like literally treat myself to therapy because <laughs> I'm like, eh, whatever. Yeah. You know, right. I could use it. Do you ever have the thing where you're making up stuff because you're like, oh, I'm here. 
No, I'm generally like, hey, yeah. You're getting your money's but worth. I understand. I totally understand the uh, the desire to do that. And I tried. I tried to explain that to my therapist one time, and he was like, "So what? You think you uh, only need this when things are bad?" And I was like, "Well, yeah." <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm not and, going to the gym if I'm thin. Right. Yeah, but that's what he said. He goes, "So do you only?" He's like, "The only way to stay thin is to keep going to the gym." And I was like, "Oh, that." checks uh, out that makes sense you that know makes sense like you gotta just stay on top of it he's got you there but you're not going to the doctor when you're healthy no i'm not going to the doctor even if i'm not healthy yeah i'm, I don't either. I'm just it's avoiding the it's fucking doctor. The doctor yeah do you have health care yeah. i do and i still avoid it i still don't want to know i'm like don't fucking tell me if i have a mole that's questionable i'm like i'll just see yeah i'll find out <laughs> I'll really? cancer one day i'll find out yeah i'm just like la la, la, la. i don't want to fucking know <laughs> i don't want to know it's the only thing that i think kept me from being an opioid addict is that i didn't i hate the doctor's office wow <laughs> good point <laughs> you know you couldn't get a script yeah I mean, there's no way i would keep doing a drug that made me go to the doctors every time right people I mean, really people really fucking opioid thing is crazy i know it's i'm an saying epidemic. the ob the obvious but it's like I, it's crazy it's how many so, people die from it it I is know. so bad i mean especially considering how we made such a huge deal out of covid yes yeah. and i i kept thinking about the op the opioid crisis during this whole time because i was like well this is just raging and it's getting worse yeah and every fucking day i'm like no one even it's it's so weird. It's people's kids. I know, and they pass all these laws where you can't sue them or whatever, and nobody seems to give a shit. Have you seen Dope Sick? Oh, I heard it's good. It's amazing. Really? It's fucking so good. That's Michael sad. Keaton is like he's great. I think it might be the best I've ever seen him. I'm like really he's so fucking good in it. It's great. It's yeah. heavy. It's really heavy. It's but like really good and necessary, but no one still cares. Yeah. Yeah, we need some, we need a few more TV shows. Yeah, I know, right? That'll, what about uh, so you're on the road every week? And it's like, it, I mean, I was texting you at a club. You were having, a club was not treating you well, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I had this experience at a club once where I like, I had texted Sam because I knew, I was like, who's on the road and pissed about it? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, you know what I mean? And you got me a weekend when I was in a good, I was in a good mood, Yeah, actually. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, uh, I, I kind of wished that you had been having a bad weekend because I was like, not on you, <laughs> but just to keep- To keep, bond? Keep, yeah, keep it going. Yeah, Because right. I was like, there's so much more poison I could spew about this, but I had been, all right, so I did this club, and the first day I get there, I was like, hey, you know, are there any dates that I should be concerned about? Any like- no, where the numbers are low like i can just do a last minute like blast just fucking promote mm -hmm. and they were like no 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 it's actually like we've got better numbers than we've had in a few weeks and i was like great all right awesome next day i get there first show's great second show well, like as the first show is filing out the manager gets over the pa system and goes all right so um we only have 12 tickets sold to the next show and we're going to have to cut the, uh, unless we get 15, we're going to have to ax the second show. And I, I'm standing next to her. I'm standing next to her. And she's saying this into a mic. And I turn to her and I go, are you, um, are you telling me into a microphone <laughs> that the, sh that the tickets are low while the audience is filing out right now? Oh, and man. she goes into the mic. She goes, I'm telling you, I'm telling the staff, I'm telling your features. Wow. And I go, Okay, all right. I'm gonna fight this woman. I'm That's gonna aggressive. fight this bitch. Wow. I literally yeah. am gonna fight her. So I asked her where the other manager was, and she looks under her. She, I've never been out white woman to like this in my life. <laughs> she looks under her desk, like checks under the desk, and then checks in the sky and goes, "I don't know where he is." Oh. And I was like, "Okay." Damn. I was like, "All right." <laughs> I got. I'm like. I was like raging when i tell you like you know when you're so mad you're like shaking yes oh, yeah. yes i was fucking shaking so, so i go michael j fox so yes <laughs> she gave me parkinson <laughs> so i i go find the other manager and yeah. i go hey um so and so just uh told me that the tickets are low uh yeah. me and everyone else um is this something you could have brought up with me when i asked you yesterday wow why the ticket sales were low and um he was nicer about it but he was like well, no, I couldn't have because, you know, actually, like, sometimes they just go on up on their own. And I was like, sorry, for who? Ooh. I was like, Are you, for me? <laughs> like, I'm not at that in that fucking position. Yeah. And I know you guys aren't fucking promoting. So what the fuck? And I 
This is messed up. It was so messed That's up. That's wild. So aggressive. It was so fucking messed up. And I, I, they, nobody ever came back in the green room to ask if I wanted anything to eat. Nobody, mm. like, I'm talking two nights in a row. Like, no. Yeah. And I was like, this is. Was this club in a mall? Yes. Ah. But it, mall but comedy, baby. Mall comedy every yeah. time. Every yeah. time. It's just one of those where you're like, dude, are you pissed that I'm here? Right. <laughs> Are you upset? Like yeah. it felt like I walked into their living room. That's my pickup line, by the way. Are you pissed that I'm here? What do <laughs> yeah. I do? I don't understand. <laughs> well, that's the thing. A lot of these clubs do now is like if it doesn't sell out or fill up, they're mad at you. And you're right. like, well, your job is to kind of bring an audience in and I entertain them. Right. That's the job. Yeah. Well, that's what the job used to be. It used to be. Well, the I mall mean, thing is tough because you're like, look, Mark and I are on the road almost every week, you know, and it's like there's that thing where you we want to be. I I really do like the road, mm -hmm. but there is a party that's like, yeah, some of these weeks are filling weeks. Yeah. Some of these sure. weeks, like when you're performing next to a Spencer Gifts, it's hard. to You don't feel yeah. like you're living the dream. Like, you, what, are you pulling up my gigs? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's How check them out. How many we have coming oh, up? I don't know. That's a filler right there. What? That's a good one. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, I, I I literally was looking at my gigs and I was like, I think I sent them to you. And we were oh, laughing. Yeah, yeah. You were like, which ones are terrible? Yeah. And I was like, and I'm going like, to give you the good. honest rundown. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, I knew which ones were good because I'd been, I mean, all the improvs are fucking amazing. I like the yeah, improvs. Like, I really well. love the improvs. They just, they kind of, it's a well-oiled machine. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. They got it down. And they just, they treat you like they're happy that you're there. You yeah. know, that's all it really takes. That's I all know. it takes. I, honestly, I am happy that I'm there. Like, yeah. And that's the thing is like, you you match. I mean, I, I've said this again. It's funny. I'm at Hilarities in Cleveland recently and uh, they play a thing in the beginning and it's all these comics just saying it's a great club and I'm one of the comics. Saying, oh, it's a great club. it is a great club. And I was like, yeah. yeah, I fucking mean that because you walk in there and Nick, who's the owner, who's just like an awesome dude. He meets you with so much love know, and enthusiasm that you're just like you feel good. Yes. Right. And then you're like and also he's a great guy and like, oh my God. I mean, that guy is like since I was like a feature there has been awesome to me. Yeah. So and, cool. And the and food's good. The food is so good. And uh It's also nice when you know they love comedy. Yeah. They love comedy. Yeah, right? right? I'm like, I'm not part of a money laundering scheme. <laughs> yes. This is like, you know what I mean? Oh, we've all been there. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> There's just like you're like glad to be there because you know that they appreciate what you're doing. Right. Money laundering, you're at a comedy. Comedy club, please don't be child prostitution. Please don't be child <laughs> yeah, prostitution. Right. Or just sex traffic. <laughs> hey, better help, folks. We're brought to you by Better Help. It's a hell of a product. Now a word from our sponsor, Better Help. You have to take care of that mind. We spend so much time taking care of our skin, our hair, our teeth, and so little care on the most important part, the noggin, the brain. How well you take care of your brain affects how you experience life. Investing time and energy in mental health is crucial to being happy. Eating right, working out, getting plenty of sleep. You got to take care of that voice. I know. I went hard. And a good start, but there's no substitute for talk therapy. BetterHelp makes online therapy accessible, convenient, and affordable. We love therapy. We got Alan. He's the best. You got to do it. It's crucial. It's important. You got to get in there. Tell them how to do it, Sammy. Uh, BetterHelp is online therapy that offers video, phone, and chat therapy sessions. You can choose not to see anyone on camera. Maybe you're weird looking. Maybe mm -hmm. you don't want that therapist talking about that mole. I don't know. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy. You can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. We Might Be Drunk listeners get 10% off their first month at BetterHelp.com slash drunk. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash drunk. And uh, give it a shot. Get on it. We Might Be Drunk is brought to you by Fanimal. Fanimal! This is the summer you're going to go out and do shit. Oh, yeah. I'm way ahead of you. If you want the best price for the best shows this season, use Fanimal. Fanimal has tickets to everything with no fees. The price you see is the price you pay for a hot link like a Dodger game, Lollapalooza. Fanimal is the always cheap option. Fanimal's group purchase makes it easy to get your friends together, set a size, for your group and choose the number of tickets you want to pay for yourself, then invite friends. When the group size is met, everyone gets charged and receives their tickets. If the minimum size isn't reached in time, nobody gets charged. Don't commit until your friends do. Tell them how, Fanny. Fanimal has amazing customer service. Don't take our word for it. Check out their hundreds of five-star reviews. The next time you need tickets, go to Fanimal.com and sign up with code DRUNK for $20 of credit toward your first purchase. That's pretty damn good. Check out Fanimal and experience more. Fanimal. 
Hey, hey, folks, this summer months are here. The summer months are here. Time to stay fueled and hydrated. Making hydration a priority helps us feel healthier in our everyday lives. One stick of liquid IV and 16 ounces of water hydrates you two times faster and more efficiently than water alone. Liquid IV products taste great. Ten refreshing flavors like Concord Grape, Lemon Lime, Pina Colada, Tropical Punch. Sounds like summer to me. I like the Concord Grape. You know, it's kind of like you're drinking wine, but yet you're getting uh, hydrated. I drink one of these every morning just in case. Use Liquid IV first thing in the morning before a workout when you feel run down after a long night out and manage to daily de- manage to daily hydration. The single, you need some right now, I think. I'm hurting. The single-serve <laughs> packaging helps you yeah. keep hydrated while on the go or on the road. I got a pile of these at home. Yeah. I hit them every day. They taste good. They feel good. And it's nice to just know you're hydrated. You got a lot of moving parts. You got to lubricate, folks. Yeah, you need to stay hydrated. I, I take these all the time, too, whether to kill a hangover or, if, you know, maybe I, I swam some laps or whatever. They're, they're packed with five essential vitamins, B3, B5, B6, B12, and vitamin C. Contains three times the electrolytes of traditional sports drinks. Suck on that, Gatorade. Liquid IV is made with premium ingredients and free from gluten, dairy, and soy. So if you're annoying, you could also take this. Liquid IV uses cellular transport technology designed to enhance rapid absorption of water and other key ingredients into the bloodstream. Grab your Liquid IV in bulk nationwide at Costco, or you can get 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use drunk at checkout. That's 25% off anything you order when you shop better hydration today using promo code drunk at liquidiv.com. Woo-wee! All right. <laughs> no, but I was I was there, and they're just so nice. And Nick is like an old school, like Cleveland. He, first off, he's like a hot older guy, sexy Italian, he's, yeah, a uh, Greek. But he ah. look, he looks like the he looks like the grandpa. <laughs> Remember the grandpa from the show The OC? He looks ah, like that no. guy. We didn't watch that. You never watched that show? It was like it was like the new Beverly Hills Nine Hundred Two and Zero. It's not a good show, but anyway. They're telling me this story, and they're like, yeah, Nick fucking, some guy's acting up. Nick grabs him by the throat. He chokes him up, and I'm like, he's, like, old. He was like, like, yeah, he was, like, 65 when he did that. I was like, Jesus Christ. (laughs) He's choking dudes out in his 60s. Yeah. I'm like, fuck Just to stand up for the fucking comic on stage? He's, like, like non-racist Clint Eastwood in Gran Torino. Yeah, That's great. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) He's Greek Torino. (laughs) That's a low-key hilarious movie. Oh, so funny! So literally, yeah, just nonstop racism. This clips on YouTube, it's some some old slurs. You're like, oh, I forgot about that slur. I forgot that one was you're like, around. That's creative. Yeah, <laughs> sort of the only thing white people ever invented. When is he? He's like 93. When is he going to stop casting himself as the tough guy? I know. Yeah. I know. He's like 93. He's got. He's like you, fucking piece of shit. That's right. Gonna be great with him in the uh, the new movie at the old folks' home where Cuomo. Yeah. Uh, has. Never mind. COVID. And uh, he's like, I'm not dying. Everybody around him's dying in the uh, old folks' home. Pull one up. This is classic. This is great. God, his face looked more and more like a vagina. (laughs) It really does. Uh, I do want to fuck his face. You're right. (laughs) Oh, the spit after. Oh, she outspit him. Yeah, that's, that's fucking funny. They had to have his wife die in the beginning to make him somewhat likable. That's true. He's got a puss on. I want to see a. Video. I want to see one of him and that lady spitting back and forth, just bigger <laughs> and bigger. <laughs> That's the whole movie. <laughs> yeah. I can send you some links of that. <laughs> Smart to make it Asian, though. It's somehow less. Offensive if they're Asian. Asian people would love that. Dude, he's, <laughs> he's, literally, it's this is called crazy poor Asians. It's amazing that it's about an old white man with a gun saying "Get off my lawn," and we're like, "Hell yeah, dude!" <laughs> yeah, we're literally all on his side. <laughs> that is what all these. When did shows this come are out? Now. When did this come out? Oh eight. Oh yeah! These Holy these, fuck! A lot has changed. Every show now, there's so many like dude, Yellowstone. I love Yellowstone, but you're literally like rooting for like old white people to keep oh, yeah. to be like they should have the whole state. Get these <laughs> they should own here. all of Don't Montana. Don't replace them. Yeah. Essentially, you're just like <laughs> <laughs> you're like man. I'm just I'm just this show is making me pretty fucking Republican. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. That's why every dad loves that show, right? Isn't that I the... love that Yellowstone's fun, dude. Yeah, it's fun. 
My dad's been trying to get me to watch it. I can't. It's all about rip. I can't that get guy, into it. That guy rules. He's sexy. He's and he's sex- banging a Native American, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, no, that's the other guy. Oh, shit. That's Casey. Yeah. Sorry. Rip, yeah. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Oh, let's, see, let's see what we got. Oh, <laughs> I mean, Jesus I Christ. Made, Christ. Uh, from YouTube, Matt? <laughs> I made this edit. What do you want? I live next door. Come on, get the shit out of your mouth. Tell I, me what um, you want. And have some respect, Zipperhead. <laughs> Zipperhead? <laughs> what? Jesus. This is going to get us pulled from YouTube. Time, hey, it's well, in I the movies. An overeducated 27 year old version. There's a Mexican, a Jew, and a colored guy going <laughs> <laughs> The bartender looks up and says, He said colored, could have been worse. <laughs> Damn, Padre. Bullshit, this is a bar, you have a drink. What do you want? <laughs> Son of a bitch. It's after one in the afternoon, it's not morning. Get off my lawn. I used to stack fucks like you five feet high in Korea. Use you for sandbags. <laughs> Get off my lawn. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Leave me alone. I kept a bunch of jabbering gooks off of my lawn. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> his pants, I love that his pants are up to here too. I know. I was always this an, I SNL off. packet is brutal. Right. <laughs> <laughs> keep hanging around like that. That would be great. Just you should write that. Just Clint Eastwood in the writers' room. I was literally character. thinking. I was like, this is like its own fucking sketch. <laughs> More spinach. How many sp- fucking face? Now get in the truck. Shut up, pussy. What is all this bro shit? Anyway, Wait, is that is Anthony Soprano? No, I wish. Oh yeah. I thought you Asian girls were supposed to be smart. <laughs> even even the compliments are rough. Yeah. Jesus. Jesus oh, Christ. Wow. <laughs> the beginning of that last scene is hilarious too because he pulls up in the truck and they're like bothering her or whatever and you know they're trying to jump him they're about to jump him and he like pulls out he's about to pull out a gun and he just pulls out like his, his finger finger yeah and they're like oh this dude's crazy and then he just pulls out a real gun after yeah. that oh yeah ridiculous. yeah so, the so finger was the foreplay yeah. just like in real life <laughs> wait how much longer <laughs> how much longer was that video it's uh, five minutes. <laughs> That's not like a hard percentage. They could percentage. shave five yeah. minutes off that movie. You'd think the cold would keep all the idiots out. What about that dimwit brother of yours? He's a little slow. This must be a tough one. They to could edit shave for TV. five minutes off that movie if you took out the slurs. <laughs> That's <laughs> fucking Whoever's crazy. Whoever's editing this shit for TNT is like, this is exhausting. Yeah. yeah. All right. You should see uh, the Grand Torino 2. It's in Wuhan. <laughs> He's the damn land. bat. I haven't seen either of them. I, I literally haven't seen either of these movies in like in full. Oh, that's it's, great. It's, it's a, a fun good watch. movie. It's a good it's, watch. It's ridiculous, but yeah. Eastwood is great. It's crazy great. to me that that was made in 2008. Oh, yeah. yeah. A lot of fun stuff was like was It's like watching Blazing Saddles or something. You yeah. know, where you're like, you're like, what? How How was this made? Like it's yeah. crazy to me. I will me. say, Unforgiven is one of the best movies ever. Great western. That's a Eastwood is a is an incredible filmmaker. Although Million Dollar Baby stinks. Yeah, I I never even saw it. As a oh, bad. it's such a cartoon. It's really bad, and it won Best Picture. I think that was just like well, the best part Eastwood is that he sings the song in the trail in the end, in the credits for this. It's just him singing. <laughs> Wait, I don't remember that. <laughs> Pull that up. Eastwood just sings. Like what? This is more no, no, offensive no, no, no. than the slurs. No, no. Him Pull up singing? the song of Eastwood singing the credits, Salakus. It's Gran Torino. He's singing the song in the credits. I remember being in this movie theater like, what? <laughs> Yikes. Is he singing it to a chair? <laughs> that was a big moment. I was like, oh, he's senile now. That's fun. Stacking bodies five feet high. <laughs> this is it. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? He's like Lizzo. He does it all. <laughs> Except he's laying down on the couch because he's screaming so many slurs he's tired. He's like, oh, fuck, it took it out of me. Yeah. Dude, he sounds like, um... Tom uh, Waits? Leonard Tom Cohen. Waits, yeah. yeah. I never well, realized Tom that Tom Waits was just Clint Eastwood. <laughs> Young Tom Waits had a great voice. Oh, yeah. yeah. He just smoked and drank himself into having, like, this scratchy voice. Like I still love Janis Tom Joplin Waits. voice. Right. But she died so young, we never really heard bad Janice Joplin. Dude, but that was, I mean, it's like, she didn't need to age. Yeah. Like, <laughs> come on, come on. Steve-O's got that now where you're like, holy shit, you yeah. sound insane. Yeah. Really? The smoking, yeah. Steve-O, Josh Adam Myers, they got the, <laughs> they got the drug addict voice. Yeah. 
Damn. Yeah, dude, he was Tom Waits is fucking awesome. That first album he wrote, he was like 24. Wow. And it's like the most mature shit you've ever heard. Tom Waits, there's another wreck for you. If you haven't heard his album Closing Time or Rain Dogs, they'll blow your fucking mind. Yeah. How long? <laughs> nice shot. Uh-huh. <laughs> the Joker on Oh, this. yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa. I heard that, yeah. How about that? Funny How guy, too. How long have you been here in Australia now? I got here last night. Uh, oh, wow. yeah. Wow. Holy oh. shit. That is Heath Ledger. Oh, why so serious? Mm -hmm. That was a fascinating flight. Oh, my God. And, uh, what do you Good do pull, Sally. That's like, fucking scary. Well, they show movies that are not... That's insane. It sounds just like the Joker. <laughs> I fucking love Tom Waits. Yeah, he's yeah, sexy he's guy. So cool. so, such a sexy guy. And also, like, really, um, I don't get... I don't listen to him that often because if I do, I'm like, well, that's going to be my day. Right. You know what I mean? That's like a meal that you can't digest mm -hmm. fully. Yeah. It's going to fuck with you for the rest of the day. Right. I'm like, if right. I need to be in a good mood, I can't listen to this. Yes. But Th that image from Rain Dogs, they, they recreated that for Fight Club. Oh, is that right? So, you know, the scene where Ed Norton is against Meatloaf's tits. Yes. That yes. That's hugging. That's the, uh, the cover of Rain Dogs. Whoa. So Rain Dogs, like that song is awesome. But that song is, I think, basically like I think it's about it. I could be wrong here, but I think it's about a drunk because it's like about how dogs, when they get wet, they lose their sense of smell and can't find their way home. <laughs> yeah. So it's just about a drunk. Like, I can't get home. I'm too drunk. <laughs> oh, that's, great. A, that's A lot of his songs are like, I'm shit. Yeah, look at that. That's, that's Fight Club, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Bitch tits. That's oh, wild. Fuck, Fight Club is cool. So fun. Palinek. R.I.P. Meatloaf, man. Oh, yeah. Anti vax. Wait, when did he die? He died like during COVID? Like five months ago. Yeah. Really? Miss that. Yeah, he was. Yeah, <laughs> that went right over my fucking head. Oh, yeah, <laughs> there's. I mean, there's just been too many. It's like everyone's dying now. Like we're getting to the age where the people that we watched growing up, they're all dying off, and you're like, Every oh day. fuck, just don't even look. You, you know, it's look. the precursor to death is like seeing the shows you watched as a kid on Nick at Night. Yes, you're like, oh fuck. Yeah, Fresh Prince is on Nick at Night now. Right. Fuck Thirty Rock. This oh my is... god. And then you walk into yeah. Urban Outfitters, they're yeah. selling our band's T-shirt. Shirts as oh, like yeah. vintage. What are they selling? Ironic. Yeah, like yeah. You know, Nirvana, Pearl Jam, wow. all that shit. You're yeah. like, holy hell, Green Day. Yeah, that's Damn. like, and that was like a few years ago that they started doing that. I know, I know. It's like when crazy. your musicians stop, when they stop going up shirtless, you're like, shit. <laughs> yeah. This is bad. You're like, fuck. He's gotten fat. Yeah. And yeah, Iggy Pop and Jagger still thin. And the Chili Peppers. They're sticking the with the shirt peppers. list. Didn't Looked Jagger, great. didn't he uh, relapse recently? Is no, that right? I think yeah, he had. I think he, I think he was rehab. sick. He had like a heart surgery or something. Well, he had. Uh, he had a sort of. He had something happen. Well, that would. I Iggy mean, painkillers. Man, that song, "The Traveler," is that it? The passenger. the passenger. That's a great tune. Damn, he's still pretty ripped. He looks great. He looks like yeah. Anthony Kiedis. But he's got that old. He's got that like leathery. Yeah. Crepe skin. Would you? Ugh. <laughs> no. No. All right. There's an episode like, of Bourdain because you can't they, watch they your hands go into someone's chest like that. You yeah, know what I mean? It's gross. Right, you right. feel like you're playing with Gak. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Another timely reference. <laughs> he's, like a, he's like a full body stretch Armstrong. Right. Yeah. yeah. He's like, dude? no thanks. No, he's awesome though, and he. Uh, yeah, I think, I think, oh, I think, dude, that is fucking old junky body. But it's, yeah. <laughs> you know what's fucked up though? That's best case scenario for I all know, of us. I know that's true. Yeah, yeah, Oof. that's a horror movie. Like if you see that in dim lighting, but he's and a like candle 60. gets snuffed out before How he walks old? in a doorway. Pull, pull up his age though. How old is Iggy Pop? Yeah. Uh, yes. His stomach looks like a rich lady's neck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How old, uh, how old are we talking here? Dude, he looks oh, amazing. He looks amazing. That's my dad's age. Dude, I think it's yeah. Bourdain and Iggy in Miami. I think it's the Miami app where they're yes, hanging on the and beach, it's, and it's like, oh man. I remember that. Dude, about two have cool you guys dudes. seen the Bourdain documentary? Like, I can't the new do one? it. Roadrunner. It's great. It's really good. I, I liked him so much. I don't want to accept 
Yeah, I don't. That's like I'll I'll watch it at some point, but yeah. I don't accept. I I watch the show. Well, it's interesting. So much. I never really watched his show. I wasn't into him like that. But I then him. I watched this documentary, and I was like, okay, well now I'm like, now I'm in. Like yeah. I I did not even know about this guy. I didn't watch the show. Everybody was telling me to, and so obviously I went like no, and. uh because whenever people like push something on me, I'm like, fuck you. I don't, yeah. don't, don't, don't want to watch like it. Like if four people tell you to watch it, you'll watch it. But if eight do, you're like, go fuck yourself. Yeah, exactly. Mm, like yeah. I won't watch Top Gun. So many people are like, <laughs> you got to see it. Top Gun. I'm like, I don't, I don't, you're fine. I don't you're need fine. to see it. I went to go see the Black Phone though. That's fucking sick. I heard it's good. Really? So good. Ethan yeah. Hawke, right? Yeah. Black so good. Phone. What is that about the cricket <laughs> all right <laughs> <laughs> easy eastwood <laughs> it was uh it's like the <laughs> it's hey mark <laughs> oh <laughs> <laughs> that took me a second <laughs> that is the dumbest stephen yeah. king's stephen king's son wrote a short story and they based this off of that uh, oh cool yeah. Yeah, someone Ron was just telling me he hated this, but then Sean Murphy was telling me he really liked oh, it. Oh, I loved it. Both smart guys. Tough yeah. to call it. Oh, Ron, we well, Ron On's a fucking snob. He is. He's I mean, he's one cunt. of my best friends. He's the biggest fucking movie cunt I've ever met. Easily. Dude, it's so great. <laughs> Would you hand me my hat? Oh, boy. This is Black Phone? Yeah. yeah. Okay. This summer, Ethan also, Hawke I is love a, a pedophile. <laughs> Ethan Hawke is Joaquin Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I still haven't seen everything everywhere all at once. I, everyone's talking. I haven't either. Yeah, I Dude, haven't seen that either. It's awesome. amazing. Is it? I haven't heard you know, one bad review. It's uh like in the classic like Hong Kong comedy uh, like Stephen Chow like Kung Fu Hustle. Oh, I love uh -huh. Kung Fu Hustle. So it's like that, yeah. but like you know multiverse and a little more cerebral, but it's. It's awesome. Stephen Chow was great. Like yeah. a cerebral film. Yeah, it's really funny, but it's hilarious. Like it's it's amazing physical comedy, just like in Kung Fu. There's some scenes that are clearly like just reflective of that. Mm -hmm. So it's comedy. Like, it, yeah, it's mostly com. It's a comedy, and then they also they also do have like some kind of like you know this like mental component of like, but it's mostly just funny. That's cool. All it's, right. it's really, so much really movie good. talk it's in this pod. We it's... love movies, man. Shit, what are you gonna Dude. do? Yeah. Who's, who's the one who's I forget, I forget her name, who's in it, but um, the, the, all the Michelle casting Yeo. is fantastic. I'm sorry? Michelle Yeoh? No, not the main character, the supporting actress who's also like the, one of the producers on it. Um, I don't know. White Lady? Yes, White Lady. I know you're I forget talking exactly about. What not she, Jamie Lee Curtis. Jamie Lee Curtis, yeah. yes, yes. And she's awesome. She wears like a fat suit. It's hilarious. She's like the villain for half the movie. It's oh, that's awesome. great. Oh, fat suit. All right. I love Jamie Lee Curtis. Oh, yeah. And her tits. Wanda. Her tits oh are good. Oh, my God. True lies? Come <laughs> yeah. on. Remember growing up, the whole thing about her being a hermaphrodite? Yes. That yeah. was like a weird thing when you'd be like, she's hot, and you'd have that kid growing up who's like, she's a hermaphrodite. You're weird. And right. Like, and you're no, like, she's not. Yeah, nah, she just nah. had short hair in the 90s. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we reacted. And even if she was, I would still uh, motorboat. Still do it. Yeah. You know? What yeah, do I no, care? She, yeah. She was, I mean, dude, Come Fish closer Call to the bed. Great. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, Fish Call Wanda is great. Uh, she lies trading great. places. Look at that. Come on. Who it's is it in show. Fish Call Wanda? Kevin, Kevin Klein. Klein, yes. One, I think he's one of the best comedic actors I've oh, ever yeah. seen. Hold on. She's about to find her groove. Man, what a bod on this MILF. Great bod. By the she's way, she's like MILF? younger what than you, you now. Like, yeah, was she like 30? Oh, really? Yeah. We're calling her a MILF because of now, but. Oh shit! I guess you're right. True Lies was fun as hell. Great movie. Yeah. Tom Arnold shined. Tom Arnold was so funny in this movie. I know, and that was it. <laughs> hey, don't knock the stupids, bro. <laughs> um, no, this is uh, yeah. Her body's if you didn't, ridiculous. If, this, if you didn't tell me this was True Lies, I'd a hundred percent think that was a vampire movie. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. You know. The lighting. Just that scene is like just Twilight. That's. <laughs> that's true. But that's the my lighting, thing yeah. with like men's movies is like which I. I mean, I know True Lies isn't like a man's movie, but it is. It is. And like, yeah. they're all shot with this like blue filter. So it's like I automatically just go, oh, that's for dudes. Yeah. Like we... Ozark is like all yes. blue. We Whoa. can't have too much color or we think we're gay. <laughs> oh my God. This you know, is you crazy. Forget, this was like a risk to have short hair back then. Yeah. Because people were like, what are you doing? Yeah. I'm into it. I'm fairly certain this is the second or third time we watched this clip on this show. <laughs> <laughs> Salicuse. You guys just haven't jerked off yet? <laughs> this is pre-twerking. You know, like this was a pre-internet porn. This is a big deal. Yeah, I mean, that's oh, crazy. I, I turned this off. I'm getting distracted. This is, this is too hot. 
This is also when white women were still dancing. Those, yeah, yeah. Those 80s movies where, like, we were, we wore, like, the spandex with the fucking things. I remember, like, moms picking their kids up from school in D.C., like, just fucking in those things. Like, they're, I'm like, we... Just, we're just looking at your pussy. You know yeah. what I mean? Just it was a better pussy time. highlight. It was crazy. You know what's funny when they wear a belt with that thing? Yeah. You're like, it's spandex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no, it's just purely decorative. Yeah. White women dancing is kind of like when you see Bob Cousy just dribbling a basketball like this. <laughs> you're like, that's not, that ain't happening anymore. Right. 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 We're done with that. I think the camel toe. A lot of people, a lot of women assume is is bad, but I think I think guys like a camel. Yeah, I don't think we assume it's bad. I think I, we I, I think like we've it. caught I on. Women were like, oh, camel toe, oh shit. No, I think we've caught on. Yeah, but I because I remember pulling, getting pulled over when we were shooting the Letterman thing. The director, who's a woman, pulls me over and goes, "Hey, I just have a quick note for you." And I was like, oh, "I'm in trouble" or whatever. She was like, "We were picking up a little camel toe." And I was really? Like, yeah, and I was like, "No, I know." Oh. <laughs> I was like, that, I'm oh, fully good, aware. Good for you. Of that. that you, they said the same thing that, to him. Yeah. They actually kind of did. Do you remember that? When no. I, they made me restart my set at Letterman? What? Why? Because I had my phone, like, I was wearing tight jeans and my phone in my, in my pocket. They're like, I get my first joke off and I, I get to laugh. And I'm like, all right, here we go. We're off to the races. They're like, yeah. Sam. I just hear a voice mid set. I'm no. Like, God. <laughs> Sam. I was like, "What?" They're like, "You got to restart your set. There's a there's a phone in your in your pocket." And I just panicked. I go, "No, it's my cock." And then, <laughs> thank God, I got like something on that. But they're like, "You got to restart your set." And Letterman like runs over. He's like, "You piece of shit, fuck wow. you!" Like trying to be funny with it. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. he grabs me close and he goes, "I'm so sorry." I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, he gets it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he, I had to restart my set. But uh, it's yeah. funny. We both had crotch related uh, yeah. mishaps. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good I was movie proud. title. Yeah, <laughs> crotch related. Rated PG thirteen. <laughs> Starring Kate Hudson and Tom Arnold. <laughs> right. <laughs> With Clint Eastwood as the racist uncle. <laughs> yeah. That was a fun set, though. That was, I watched that was it. fun. It was yeah, great. we had a good time. You, you, he invited us to his green room before. That was fucking weird. I know. He was hanging with Letterman. I know. Wow. It was awesome. He was so. You went in before me and you were like, he's nice. Yeah. Like, yeah, wow, he was yeah. really nice. What was your What was your experience? Um, he was just very cool. Like I was just, I was like, he's so fucking cool, and it just felt like hanging with like you guys. It felt like hanging out with a, a comic. Yeah, you know, and I didn't expect that because he's a legend. Sure. And he's so old. I just thought, all right, well, uh, you know, like this will be kind of painful for me, but we'll right, get through it. And right. like he just made me so comfortable, and like it, I'm so glad he did that because he knows like we could have gotten in our fucking heads about it. Right? Oh, yeah. Like just sitting upstairs surrounded by like agents and managers, which is like. Oh, you had like 20 friends there. I had Norman. No, I had two. <laughs> I had Norman. And I had... No, you had so many friends. No, there. those were all agents and managers. I know, but like, there's people for you. Two comics. I literally had Norman and, and one of my agents came for the Berkowitz there was there for the early show. Uh, yeah. But, you were, oh, yeah. but Norm was there. I had like someone the whole time. Right. But I, I literally said so everyone else there had like a whole crew and I was like, I'm basically alone. But, uh, but that's the way to do it, I yeah. feel like. It is. You, you, know? you know what? I kind of like having people there just because it makes it feel like it's not big. Like right. When people are there, they just distract you. Then you just go on to do your thing. But when you're solo, you're just kind of like in your head, like, oh shit, I gotta, I gotta bring it. But yeah, I guess you're right. It kind of prevents you from like overthinking anything. Exactly. Yeah. And yeah, I never thought of it like that. Dave was cool as shit. I mean. Uh, it is interesting. Some interviewers will like be like, "I want it to all be real." First words I'll ever say to you will be on camera. But all he really did, like, we're not burning anything. He was just like friendly, yeah, we were and, just and talking. nice. He was just like, "Oh, uh, you know," just being like, "Hey, whatever you want this to be, it'll be." What do you right. say to you? Um, I can't remember because I was on like two hours of sleep. Mm. Like I had done. Because you came from SNL. I came from SNL. Wow. What a what a career. Dude, I flew there. Yeah, it was a great year. Was it for a twenty four hour like, twenty four hour uh Dude, I flew there that morning. To LA. And I to LA. Yeah. And I got off uh I got off stage and yeah. got into a car and fucking flew back for the show on Saturday. What? And then you laid next to Lizzo like, oh fuck. Man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean that's probably why when I was like looking at her conducting herself i was like oh that's how you do it yeah so you you were on the next morning you were out that next morning again yeah. we, were we on yeah. the same flight no yeah we no I, I took a red eye back and that, oh, you went took a red eye yes and went to damn 30 rock and was Did you like sleep on the flight i mean kind of but like i was psyched i was like sure. that was the moment where when i was flying home where i was like i can't believe how fucking cool 
what I just did was. I know. Because yeah. on the way there, I was like, I got to get there. I got to like right? have all my shit together. But what? You just hope they edit it properly. Because like, we, we did what we set out to do, but then you're like, it's in their hands now. Yeah, but the editor, I know the editor because he works at SNL. Uh, so I was like, I know him. On. You know what I mean? I was like, and I knew that he was going to do a good job. Yeah. It's not like I have, I wasn't going to like be in his ear or anything, but he let me know like, yeah, I'm editing your set. And I was like, oh, cool. Look, you know, I didn't want to, ask to see it or anything i was like just do it i can't get involved because after editing my special i was like i can't ever That's look great. at that shit again it's too much it's it, too much you just hope yeah i mean i i do want to see stuff always but yeah it's a lot of it's a lot of work and, and you uh, you don't i i really genuinely believe that you can't as a stand-up edit your shit correctly because you you need somebody who can do comedy editing like who understands the timing of shit totally but if you edit your own stand-up special like yeah. like I had to, it's it's not you're not going to do a good you're not an editor you know yeah, what I mean it's yeah. like it's not your skill set but you should be in the room if you can be I think. yeah room, I agree outside eye. I have a great editor for my new one I got a Clint Eastwood it's going to be really good <laughs> but, uh, you know no I was on the flight back that next morning I remember and I was doing the vegan theater then it was like a big gig for me and I remember you know being on no sleep I'm, at, I'm on the flight with Chris Stefano. he's right behind me and right. he's like he's like massaging me he's like you got to get at least two hours man yeah. you got to get at least two hours and I passed out and as I woke up I turned around he was like yeah <laughs> <laughs> That's great. He's watching you sleep. He was watching That's me adorable. Sleep. You did it. He pulled a Cosby. Just two hours. That's all I need. Just kissing my neck. Yeah. Like, what he the slides fuck? a drink in between the seats. But imagine hearing that. Well, first of all, kudos to you because a lot of people would go, wait, I got to go to SNL, then fly to LA, do this, then fly a red eye back. I, yeah, but you got to do feasible. that gig. It's Letterman. Of course. Yeah. But I think a lot of people would have turned that down. No. Who's no. turning that shit down? I There's think no a lot of people, the, 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 the logistics are no good. It's too much. I don't know. I mean, I knew that the logistics it's were Letterman. not good. And I, I get like, I, I understand turning it down if you think that you wouldn't be able to, that you wouldn't be able to perform at the, you know what I mean? But like, you got to do it. Yeah, you're the fucking adrenaline hit, like kicks in. You get on stage and all of a sudden, however tired you are, it's just like it doesn't matter. Yeah. You know, you just Although I did answer questions on there that I was like, "Oh, I shouldn't have answered that." Like there was I think he asked me I was making fun of like some story where I woke up in the middle of the night and I was like having a panic attack and I asked Andy if I could see his credit card debt. <laughs> so, <laughs> and I was like, I need to I know, this, yeah. I need to know how much credit card debt you're in. And, uh, and so Letterman asked me, he goes, well, how much debt is he in? And I just gave the exact number. I just <laughs> said it on TV because yeah. my defenses were down. I had nothing to be like, oh, don't do that. Say this, like yeah. make a joke. I just fucking told him. <laughs> and I was like, God, I really fucking hope they don't use that. And thank God they did. You're yeah, hoping it's yeah. Oprah and she just covers it. Yeah. Right. Yeah, dude. I like I went home and I turned to Annie and I was like, dude, I'm so sorry. Ah. <laughs> did, they, did they use that in the final thing? They no. didn't use it. You know, no. what's, you know what's interesting, though? It's like he'd ask some stuff that we were prepared for, obviously. Not prepared. Not like I had like long bits ready. But like he, some stuff you're like, oh, I, I can handle. I know what's coming. Yeah. But then he throws some stuff my way that I was like. I didn't know he was going to ask me that. Right. And I think it's kind of you good. To get, a it's that. a good mix. Because yeah. some of the, my best lines were riffs. Yeah. You know, they weren't things I was like, I'm going to say this. They were like, yeah. you know, I'm I'm trusting the muscle memory here of just right. years of doing stand up. Right. Yeah. Just being able you know. to talk and make it funny, you know. And also, like, I, I felt like the interview gave you a chance to, like, be funny in a different way. You didn't have to necessarily do a joke joke, like, because you have the interaction. And so different things could happen. You know, I, I like yeah. seeing what... That's kind of what I'm fucking with on stage right now is just like, because I have always been like a writer. Like, I'm like, I want to write. It's got to be Same. perfect. And like, I don't want to, you know, there's something about that where you can kind of like hide behind the jokes a oh, little yeah. bit. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, I'm trying to get comfortable on stage in a way where I don't necessarily have to. I want to keep the jokes, but. I want to be more comfortable. I want to feel both, like, yeah. You're, you're unstoppable. Yeah. You so, can riff on the room, fuck with a guy, go back into material. Right. Yeah, that's really uh, the top level yeah. of performing. Yeah. It's like when you get off, when, when you watch a comic and they're really great, you're like, fuck, they're a good writer. And like, I just want to hang out with them. I want to yes. know what they're like. Yes. The weird thing is I think that comes from not giving a fuck. Yeah. Which you can only get from just doing it. 
over eight million and over times and over for again. years yeah. and years. Yes. Yeah, so. yeah. By the amount of time, if you if you do your fourth set in a night, you're kind of like, yeah, well, I got three Ex- good ones so exactly. far. Let's fucking we're playing with house money. Let's have some fun. And then yeah. that one's the most loose and interesting. Yeah. And sometimes you bomb, but sometimes that bomb is good for you too. Like you learn that, Yeah. Yeah. You. I mean, it's funny. As much as I shit on, like, look. Doing four sets in a night can be dumb as shit sometimes. It right. can be a waste. But other times, you need that fourth show to be like, I'm going a different way with this joke. Yeah, I want to yeah. see what the fuck yeah. And you find here. a line that I'm like, I didn't think I'd find it. Do you have any Do you have any peeves or, or anything? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. I got a ton. I yeah. mean, are you, are we talking just stand-up peeves? Or are we anything. Talking- anything. It could be anything. Okay, no so, nuts. yeah, for the first is... Um, Seeing a kid in first class. Ah, that's a great one. That a always one. fucking pisses me off. Like yeah. every time. Especially when you're one away from the upgrade. Yes. 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 I get so mad. I'm they're, just like, what the fuck is this that's kid That's an doing ad for here? an abortion right there. Yeah. <laughs> and their feet don't even hit the ground. You're like, yeah. you don't even need that big seat. Yeah, they're fuck kicking you. their dumb legs. I got, so, I get so fucking mad. Yeah. Yeah, that drives me insane. Like, and when my dad, I used to fly with my dad and my mom all the time and they would fly first class and they would kick me and my fucking sisters in the back and they'd come, they'd get us when we, uh, well, when we got kid, off the plane. you don't need it anyway, right? I yeah. Mean, you kind of want to see a flight attendant just come with like a rag and go, mm, and just dump <laughs> the kid in the closet or sure. something. Put them in the overhead. Right. A seat just right. opened up. I also think kids are better behaved when they're not with their parents. That's true. You know what I mean? Mm. I, I really do. I think you put them in the back of the plane and then they're just, they just chill. They're it's like. It's true. Because other adults are terrifying. You yeah. can't fuck around with some old fat guy, like right. some Mel, uh, Clint Eastwood guy next to you. He's going to be like, shut the fuck up, kid. <laughs> yeah. Like, okay, sorry. Like, yeah. yeah. Nobody loves you back here. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Dude, uh, it's, <laughs> you got to earn enough peeve. money to get up there. Right, right. <laughs> that's good, a good one. Peeve. That's good one. Peeve. Yeah. I. I Oh, sorry. No, keep, go keep ahead. Keep going. Well, I had one about, uh, you ever have this one where the guy goes, uh, he goes, you got to try this this chair. It's, it's a very comfortable chair. And you sit in the chair and you're like, this is very comfortable. He goes, I told you. Like, <laughs> I know. I, that's why I'm sitting in it. <laughs> that is a specifically male problem, I think. Yes, yes. That's the, definitely something men do together. Wanting right. credit. Yeah. Wanting credit, the I told you when you like agreed already. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, in, I'm on board. I get that with a lot. Of, I have a friend who'll send me <laughs> videos, like, oh, that's funny. He's like, yeah. And I'm like, uh, yeah. you didn't make the video. I know. <laughs> what the fuck are we doing? It was good. Good job finding it. Everyone's a fucking curator now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Give- just because they've got the internet. Yeah. <laughs> right. right yeah. Good job finding a video that probably someone else sent to you. Right. Yes. Yeah. Give yeah. me an I told you when I, when I, didn't believe you, and then you proved me right. Yeah. The Twin Towers will be fine. <laughs> oh, I think they're going to be in trouble. No, they'll be fine. I told you. Yeah. That I'll get. All right, I'll give you that one. I do feel like uh, that is one of the ways that like dudes can kind of relate to um, being coerced into sex, is like if you've ever been shown a YouTube video you didn't want to watch by a good friend. <laughs> you know? You'll and you're like, like it. oh, fuck. Oh, fine. And you're like, okay, I don't want to, you Thumbs know. Down. Thumbs down. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, I'll right. play nice, I guess. Yeah, the ending, will, it'll pick up in the end. I, yeah. God. <laughs> I got to pee for you. I'm at the uh, Village Underground bathroom. There's one sink there, right? And there's a guy just lingering, slicking his hair. Mm. No. The wet, the wet water, you know, it, yeah. all water's wet. The water, yeah. he's wetting his hair. He's just doing this. And I'm just like, I'm trying to wash my hands. I have to wash this guy. Then he does the same thing in front of the towel machine. He's just like, Ew. Oh, God. And you're like... Get in, get out. It's yeah. so small, right? The, yeah. The, that you're like, you're just now watching him get ready, right? Because you're just in that space with him. So you're just yeah. standing next to him while he does it. I was right. pretty annoyed. That's, That's true. The, you also, we have phones. If you want to do the mirror thing, do it in your fucking phone. You yeah. don't need the mirror. Right. You got yeah. that. Just take it outside. If there's multiple, if, you, if you're alone, do whatever you want. But if there's a weight... Be respectful of other people. Right. That's all I'm saying. Yes. And the guys who get too comfortable in the bathroom. In a New York bathroom, get out of here. Yeah. yeah. Come on. Oh, you know what else is fucking annoying? Peeves. It's ayahuasca people. Ah! Oh, my God. I just did one of these. Ayahuasca yeah. people That's suck. A great one. I did one of these recently. Really? Ayahuasca? I, I went, no, I went on a date with a woman a while back, and she was like pushing ayahuasca on me. Yeah. And she was like, it's 10 years of therapy in one night. And I said- that sounds fucking horrible. Yeah. Right. I'm not that's doing awful. that. That's a lot and of also, crying. if that's the case, why do you have to do it once a year? What is happening ah, to you? Ah, true, true. They're always like, yeah, it's ten, 10 years of therapy. I'm like, well, you s- just said you do it every 
month. Exactly. And if you're so enlightened, then why are you on a date with me? <laughs> Just Neil. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Does Neil do it? I, th- oh, I assume. Constantly. Really? Yeah. Constantly. He took Chris Rock with him. Wow. Yeah. 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 Damn. Ayahuasca people is a great one. It, yeah. They drive me nuts. Yeah. Fucking... Leonard Cohen was a big ayahuasca guy, but he, he didn't seem annoying about it. If you do your, do whatever drugs you want, just don't be fucking annoying. And also just like say you're doing drugs. Stop telling me you're doing therapy. Yeah. Like stop dressing it up. You right, know what I mean? Right. Just you go to the wood, like you're going to the woods to do drugs. <laughs> all right. That's what's happening. You're yes. not fucking. It's it's like this is a shaman. He doesn't have a degree. Yeah, all right? yeah. he's not a fucking that shaman. That actually like really freaks me out. Is like the idea of if you don't like really intimately know someone who's doing that, you're just doing like that drug tourism thing in like Chile right. or something, and like you're in the jungle with some random dude who random preys dude. on tourists, right? And he's gonna fuck, get you all fucked up out of your head and then leave you in the jungle. <laughs> like, I know. You wake yeah. up in a gym sounds, suit like in Pulp sounds... Fiction, like mm. yeah. like you know you're mm. supposed to get into like a good headspace before you do any of that I don't yeah. think that would be possible for First me all, if I'd... some dude took me into the middle of no. a South I don't know if that's jungle. possible for me after 10 years of therapy like yeah, getting right? in a good headspace I've never been Which in I've a good headspace I've heard is only one night of ayahuasca <laughs> yeah. well shrooms you won't even do with randos but you right. gotta do this with randos in saying, the jungle yeah, yeah it's insane yeah. And, they're puking yeah. Your guts out, and they tell you to like go off physical. your meds like if you're on meds you gotta go off your meds for like ten, oh, for like 30 geez. days beforehand it's like, I gotta go off my cancer medication I'm doing ayahuasca right it's all these like self healers that are like they're all over inter- the internet and yeah. they're like they're just and I've seen a lot of comics that like didn't do well in comedy be like I'm a healer now and it's like, <laughs> this is the saddest thing I've ever seen and I'm just like just say you failed at whatever it is that you did because I I've literally I've never seen anybody who like quit Wall Street to go do like Tibetan sound <laughs> that's a good point you know I'm a stand up healer yeah it's fucking sad. That's is what it true. Is. I know two bartenders and two stripper, former strippers in Miami who are healers. Now. There you go. Yeah, it's always somebody that you're like, all right, well, I, I don't, I'm not even convinced you fucking healed. <laughs> you're a clear healer, right? And they're and they're always like, they're telling you like people who have real mental like disorders. They're like, yeah. yeah, just you can heal yourself. You can heal your own trauma. I'm like, oh my god, th- these are. It's going to be a nightmare for I society. I want out of a conversation with you casually. Like, right. I, you think I'm going to go fucking pay money to go to a jungle right. with you? Yeah. I know. <laughs> these, some of these healers, I mean, and it also is really disrespectful because there are people out there, like, there are chiropractors and massage therapists and acupuncturists yeah. who are, like, legitimately gifted at what they do. Yeah. yeah. So when these people are just like, I'm a healer, you don't get to call yourself that. No. That's like no. calling yourself one of the greats. Right. Other people say that shit about you. Yeah, or You're iconic. Not a That's my yeah. favorite. Iconic, That's yeah. the Gen Z version. <laughs> I'm iconic. I'm iconic. It's like, okay, <laughs> all right. I, I was thinking of Eddie Murphy when you think. <laughs> right, exactly. He's a healer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You watch his movies, you feel a little better. <laughs> yes. Uh, that's healing. 100%. I watch, I mean, dude, Nutty Professor, I've said it on this podcast, but many times I've gotten some shit for it, but like. He should have gotten an Oscar for that movie. Oh, easily. <laughs> yeah. That movie's insane. Yeah. Three Oscars. He Great. played nine roles in yeah. that. Yeah. Incredible. That's a healer. That's a real That's healer. That's a fucking healer. <laughs> but they can't do that. It's like the guys who teach comedy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I took a class with, with Mackie when we started. Oh, yeah. Did you? Yeah. Did it help? Yeah. All right. It was just a place it's... to get up what wasn't an open mic. So there was like one supportive room. Oh, so right. you got up. So yeah. that's good. Yeah, yeah. Right. No, it wasn't like it was just, but like, yeah, no, I'm glad I took it. There's some, there's At some the comic comics. D.F. Swedler. There's yeah, some comics too. that do like teach classes where I'm like, okay, that's cool. Like I know Jess Kerson taught a class for a little really? while. Yeah, yeah, if yeah. If that's your teacher, yeah. you're fucking, se- you're in yeah. great hands. Great yeah. hands. She's incredible. She's a healer. So. Yeah, sh- that's yeah. a healer. That's a healer. <laughs> now that's a healer. Right. That, that's a hashtag right there. Yeah. Right. That's healer. A healer. <laughs> healer. <laughs> that's a healer. Everyone, yeah. everyone, everyone, comment healer on this video on this <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> Upvote us for healing. <laughs> should, do you want to? Should we plug? Do you want to plug any yeah, dates? Yeah, where are you gonna up? be? Yeah, um, I'm gonna be at Laugh Boston. I have to update my website. There's like dates that I haven't touched it in months, so uh, I have to update everything. But I. I will be at Laugh Boston. When does that say? The 19th and the 20th of August? Yeah. Yeah. And then... Um, Good time. Why does it say the stand? Oh, because <laughs> they just automatically put it on bands in town. Um, anyway, so Laugh I Boston's will have it fun. updated. Good club. Uh, yeah, it's a great club. But also, uh, really just want to plug my special. Whiskey Go watch Fish. my special, Whiskey yes, Fish. It's on, on Comedy YouTube. Central's YouTube. Yeah, that's... 
they've got so many things on there that I'm like, it's sort of like plateaued right now, and I'm like, I gotta get we'll, people. We'll get it to back up. It. Yeah. Well, you can see Rose, but also she'll be in uh, Edmonton at uh, the comic strip uh, in, mm-hmm. in September. Uh, and, and many more dates. Watch her, yeah, watch yeah. her special. Listen to her podcast with Andy. What's the podcast? Find your name? beach. Find your beach. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Life's a beach. <laughs> then you die. Yeah. <laughs> I'm. Uh, I don't know when this comes out. I have no idea. Okay, so I'll be all over the Vogel in Jersey. Uh, let's see. Wise Guys Comedy Club in Utah. Count Basie Center for Performing Arts. Whatever that is. Keep going, keep going. Yeah, we got that Houston Improv, San Antonio, LOL, yeah. Comedy Off Broadway in Lexington. Um, keep going. <laughs> Comedy Connection in Providence, that's a fun one. And uh, yeah, all kinds of stuff. Improv and Dinner Theater, I don't even know where that is. The Aura, I think that's in Portland. The Brandon, I think that's in... Uh, Seattle, Toronto, Good Vancouver. For you for knowing this shit. I don't think it's in Seattle. Yeah, Richard, I think you're doing, the Neptune. I'm doing the Neptune. That's doing Seattle. the Red Rocks, doing the uh, San Jose. Who knows? This is all off. I got to get a new web person. Uh, yeah, when so you I get guess... them, please let me know who they are. Yeah. Buffalo. <laughs> we have the same person. Buffalo, San Jose, LA, Pittsburgh, Dania Beach, Louisville, Irvine, fucking uh, Omaha, Phoenix, Lexington, New Brunswick, Oklahoma City, all over. Uh, I'll see uh, Kansas City, Fort Fort Wayne on Thanksgiving. That'll be upbeat. Uh, <laughs> oh, boy. Samuel.com slash shows. We might be drunk pod.com for the merch. We've got the Patreon, which you guys are, are loving. We got uh, Bodega Cat Whiskey is coming very coming soon. Coming soon. Very, very soon. soon. Like, I'm literally thinking like two or three weeks from now, probably. Hallelujah. It's I'll believe forever. it when I see it. Yeah, yeah there Christopher, it is. you hear us? Get on it, motherfucker. Yeah, and, <laughs> and check out Rosebud on the Road. Check out her special. And praise Allah. Sunday.